the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a multi-role stealth fighter that many experts consider one of the most advanced aircraft ever built. Though it took its first flight back in 2006 the F-35 we know today wasn't introduced until 2015. However it has become an iconic aircraft among military and aviation enthusiasts in that short time all in all there are three different variations of the F-35. Including one for the U.S. Air Force and aircraft carrier model designed for the Navy and the U.S. Marines. However the third variation designed specifically for the Marines even boasts one of the most impressive features of all foreign. The ability to take off and land vertically not unlike the Harrier jump jet by 2044 the U.S. military hopes to have. Nearly 2,500 of these highly advanced aircraft in its arsenal foreign the F-35 is designed with versatility in mind. Which means it can easily embrace a wide variety of roles one of the most important roles of all is known as close air support or CAS. This involves performing air strikes against hostile targets located near friendly forces it normally relies on the use of rockets missiles bombs and sometimes strafing runs. Foreign here you can see an F-35B practicing hitting various targets which necessitates close communication with the troops on the ground. These types of exercises are performed both during the day and at night to ensure that pilots are prepared for any potential situation. When Lockheed Martin set itself to creating the most advanced fighter jet on Earth, they were serious about their results. Over the development phase the F-35 underwent several extensive tests including time spent in a special climactic chamber. This chamber is a place where the aircraft can be subjected to a wide variety of different weather conditions including extreme cold and heat this allows engineers and test pilots to get a real idea of how the F-35 and its various components will perform in extreme situations throughout the process this F-35 will remain stationary while simulating different flight modes including vertical takeoffs and landings. Avionics and other vital systems will also be closely monitored to see how they react during all stages of testing. Though it's fully capable of embracing a number of battlefield roles the F-035 is first and foremost an offensive weapon in order to maintain its stealth signature the F-35 has two internal weapons bays each with four weapon stations also there are two outboard weapon stations that can carry up to 2,500 pounds of ordnance all in all the F-35 can carry an impressive variety of missiles, rockets and bombs depending on the weapon's configuration. The Lightning can engage in air-to-air -air or air-to-ground combat at the flip of a switch as with most military aircraft the F-35 does have a gun, in this case it's a 25mm GAU-22 capable of firing 3,000 rounds per minute. Arming an aircraft can be a time-consuming process, that's why the Air Force frequently holds competitions for its ground crews to see which group can get its aircraft ready to launch in the shortest amount of time. Here you can see the first time an F-35 Lightning was included in the competition the other crews are working with F-16s, which are far more familiar to most Air Force personnel as these missiles and bombs weigh up to 2,000 pounds each getting them into. The F-35 stealth capabilities are one of its most important features this is accomplished using several systems but also through the design of the aircraft itself indeed the airframe boasts what's known as a minimized radar cross-section which means it's challenging to pick up by radar alone on top of these. It also incorporates radar absorbent materials built right into the skin of the aircraft. However to retain this stealthy signature it's important that the weapons bays be utilized rather than the external hardpoints. Both of these bays can fit a single 2,000 pound bomb or a variety of air-to-air -air missiles. Despite being able to fire thousands of rounds in less than a minute, the F-035 only carries about 220 rounds at a time. This gives the pilot about 4 seconds to engage the enemy, of course considering each round is 25 with a diameter of 25 mm, this short burst can be very devastating to ground targets and enemy infantry. There was a time when the gun was the primary air-to-air -air weapon for military aircraft, but those days are long gone. Now missiles like the AIM-E9 Sidewinder are the primary way aircraft like the F-35 attack the enemy. 
First introduced in the 1950s the Sidewinder is an air interceptor missile that weighs just 188 pounds but is almost 10 feet long foreign fuel. Rockets propel it to speeds in excess of Mach 2.5 plus while a built-in infrared homing guidance system directs the missile to the engine of the enemy aircraft with surprising results. One of the best defenses against fast-moving infrared missiles like the Sidewinder is what is known as a decoy flare. This is an aerial countermeasure that usually utilizes magnesium or other hot metals that catch fire once deployed. They will burn at a temperature hotter or equal to the engine exhaust temperature, which will hopefully force the missile to deviate from its path. Unlike radar, infrared missiles or continuously searching weapons approached from behind make it very difficult for pilots to see when they are being targeted, therefore flares are usually deployed in large numbers at the rear of the aircraft. These soldiers demonstrate how flare countermeasures work after the flares are manually dumped into the sea for later recovery. The world's most advanced flight control system, the F-35A for example, has a speed limit of 9G and an altitude of 50,000 feet, this allows it to perform evasive maneuvers by quickly turning and pivoting while varying its altitude to avoid enemies on the ground and in the air. Its top speed is about Mach 1.6 or 1,227 miles per hour, this gives it a lot of leeway when it's time to enter or exit the combat zone combined with its ferocious weaponry. It's not hard to see why the Fu-35 Lightning has a reputation as a formidable and capable opponent of course its service career has only just begun. No doubt we'll be seeing a lot of the F-35 in future missions that's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out.